girl. Oh, my big hey <laughs> girly girls, it's Kat, and I am back to make another video. Excuse me, what this? I am back. I want to make a video on my uh, Chanel walk, my wallet on a chain. I wanted that for so long. Um, I just like the whole deal of having a smaller little purse you can carry with you and when you don't want to. I'm not a person who likes to schlep a lot of stuff and when I'm just going out for something quick or we're going out to eat and it's something you don't want to carry a lot of stuff or if I'm carrying something else, you just kind of want to have maybe your phone and your, you know, your ID and some cash or debit card, you know, lipstick, whatever like that. Um, before I go on, I am wearing another, because I know that somebody had asked me about these, another one of the Wild Fox shirts. I think that they will be coming up next week on Hope Look. Um, and I believe they're probably going to have a bunch of the summer stuff now that the seasons have changed. But they've been having such great deals on Hope Look. Have you been um, shopping there? Like 85% off stuff. We got some great, great, great deals. Some Henleys. For my husband that were like seven bucks that were like 58 bucks they were like seven bucks so i usually try to get like up to 100 bucks so that the um if the shipping is free so just really really great deals but okay so got this love these and like i said even the big girls even if you're a big girl girl don't worry about it because they are just oversized they are this in fact this no, this is a large but i you can i don't even know the difference in sizes because they're just comfortable so, and excuse the bra strap things here. I was wearing something earlier today that needed to have bra straps like that to not show. Yes. So, um, that's that. And then the necklace is um, one of my bottle bar finds. I'm not a person who, believe it or not, I don't like to have a bunch of costume jewelry. I like to have certain pieces that I know that I'll use a lot or I like this because the color the light blue is just a beautiful beautiful, beautiful color and in the uh, I need to go straight the sunshine it just it's just sparkles I do want to try out Stella and Dot I know that flower bomb Natalie sells it and I think I may want to email her and and try something out. I've never tried anything out from them in fact this is the first bubble bar thing that I had got but um, and uh, remember Peggy? Don't you guys miss Peggy on here? Remember all the stuff that she had? I always used to say she could open up a store with all the stuff that she has. It was just really, really cool. I could just imagine being a little girl and walking in there. She had her room too, just decorated with it. She was. I miss her. I got that letter from her a while ago after I sent her that package, and I miss her. Um, if anybody else is in contact with her, if you can call her. Tell her to come back because she's really, really, really missed. So, okay, let's talk about the wallet on the chain. I didn't want, in fact, I, Chanel in general. My mom had a Chanel handbag back in the 80s. I'm not sure what she really did with it. I think when she retired, she may have sold it. She just had one, um, and it was black with the gold. And I remember having, like in grade school, having like a little fake Chanel. Not like fake, like it was trying to really copy it with the CCs. It was just a Blake's basic black quilted with the chain, the whole thing. And I don't even think I really knew what I was trying to copy. I think it was just like everybody, remember those girls back then? Everybody had those. And um, so anyways, that was like my first thing. I don't really, I'm not a real fan of the Chanel fashion, even if I was thin enough to get into it, I just don't really see a lot of stuff that I like. Maybe like a t-shirt, you know, something like that that just has the, the logo on it. But otherwise, I'm not really a fan of her stuff, or the, the line stuff. Um, but the handbags, the handbags are like beautiful. And some of the costume jewelry pieces are, are nice too. What was I going with this? Um, okay, yes. So then I have been just loving it. I have been loving the history of the bag and kind of researching it. And, you know, when you go on the purse forum, there's like groups of people who talk about it. And I, I in fact, really want a boy bag. I didn't want a boy bag before. I thought, I just don't like them. Just, ugh, they're too more of the kind of edgy version of the classic um, bag. I just didn't want it. But now, oh my gosh, and it's always the one that I want, they're gone. 
I want that metallic one that is um, metallic pink and it's, I've only seen it on resale in the medium. I'm not sure if that came out in a large uh, or in the jumbo, but just gorgeous. In fact, the girl who is like my, the girl that I work with at Neiman's sent me a picture of a few that they have in stock. I'll cover up the number here so I'm not like, I'm sure she'd be like totally fine with giving it out if anybody wants some information. But she sent me a few pictures of the one she has, that bottom one is gorgeous too, but it's just gorgeous. And where is this, wait, where is the one? And then she said, and her favorite of course, is the Python. I look at the price of that one. Gorgeous. Won't be getting that one anytime soon, but gorgeous. So, make sure I didn't call her. Have you done it before? Have you ever accidentally called somebody? Um, so I wanted this. And I didn't want like a plain one. I wanted something in like a cool kind of a, not a color. I really wanted a, a, one of the metals. And I figured, I'll tell you in another haul why I didn't want to get the silver. But I wanted to get the gold, and I'm so into the lambskin. I'm I'm loving the lambskin, um, and I you know I know a lot of people go on eBay, and I know that I'm just afraid of, and I know that people list legit places on eBay, but for some reason that's still scary to me. With something of that price, I would maybe risk it on something different, but on this price, it's like I'm just I want a store that really backs it up and what have you. And I go on the purse forum, and they recommend either Mallory's, which I've dealt with and they're great, um, Yogi's Closet, Fashion File, and uh, a P, Portello? Por Por I can't remember the name, but I'll list those down below if anybody wants it. And they're great because I took it over. The one that I got now, I went and I, I had it authenticated at the purse forum too. You just kind of send in pictures of it and they'll authenticate it for you. Um, Fashion File stands up behind their things. They will, it's just like, they go through a huge check process. I mean, they're completely legit. And then the Chanel boutiques here or the Neiman Marcus, they won't, nobody will, they won't authenticate it for you. But she mentioned to go to like kind of an upper scale consignment shop here, like you're going to go selling it. And I did that. I went to a place here called My Sister's Closet and went in there like I was going to sell the bag. And it was authenticated, like it was all legit. So I'm I'm 100% sure that this is, you know, legit. So that's good. And it came with, you know, a little dust cover. It didn't have the original one anymore, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. But the, the, the bag itself is in like pristine condition. And I got the gold one in the lambskin. And it's just, oh, if you could feel this, girls, if you could feel how this feels, it is so just so luxurious it's just so gorgeous and it has the nice long chain that you can wear a couple different ways you can wear it cross-bodied you can wear it right here you can double it over and kind of have it over your arm to make the, the straps half the size or you could just kind of take this and you could kind of um tuck the whole thing in the bag which i i may not do because it takes up a lot of space on the inside and um carry it like a clutch if you want to too. I'll probably wear it not cross bodies. It doesn't look bad. I mean, you're thinking, I was thinking like, okay, big girl, small little cross body purse, but it doesn't look bad. It kind of hides away on the side. So it doesn't look bad. Um, but anyways, so this is it. And it's got the pocket on the back. You can carry like a little bit of, you know, a little cash or something in there if you'd like to. And then on the inside of it, it's got a lot of space in there. It's got space in here, which is so great because it is a wallet on a chain. So you will actually have space in there for your credit cards or your ID or whatever you want, you know, in there. Any of your uh, cards you, with spending money like this, you're going to need those discount cards for stores to go into. But anything like that in there. And then you have the part here. Uh, you have a zippered compartment right here. And then on both sides of it you actually have more space here for carrying things. And then, yeah, I went over the back. Oh, and then they have the little zipper compartment up here, which you can actually put little something. It's a little, actually it looks bigger than the one that they have in the, uh, the Jumbo, the classic, the 255. But 
I love it. I love everything about it. I just think it's just a nice classic piece. The color, it's just, you know, and what I like about Chanel too is Chanel really goes after the people who um, try to, you know, the, the, the Chinese who try to like dupe them, who try to, what are they called, replicas, bags. They will really shut places down. I mean, to get, uh, they do have fake Chanel's out there, obviously, but they're constantly going after them. Whereas Louis Vuitton and most of the other big brand name or big luxurious name designers don't go after as much as Chanel down. Chanel really does go after because they want to keep brand, you know, brand loyal. They want to keep you, you know, knowing that if you have one, it's like a real one and stuff. But another way that you can tell too, what they say is that when it's closed perfectly, this is the same way on a bag too, that it's supposed to make out the diamond perfectly. I mean, it's, it's, just a classic and i think because this one really the style of the chain and the the quilted has been around for so long i mean it's going to be something that it's not going to go out of style i mean and this is like a gold i mean this has really been in style like forever i mean if you want to get i'm thinking oh boy you know <laughs> i'm you know you get in these now it's like the Louis Vuitton. I kind of almost want to like, you know, sell them and get like an ever Chanel one. I know, you get a little, ooh. So, I'm a, thankfully, I told my husband, thankfully, I'm not an Hermes Birkin girl fan. I've seen them up close. I have I just don't under, I don't get it. The colors are cool. I know that there's the whole thing of having to search for it and look for it, which is like Chanel too, but I mean, my goodness, they're like, you know, 20 K and up for those bags. Um, I'm not, tell me if you girls like those bags. What is your favorite? If you could have any designer bag in the world, what is your favorite one that you would go for like that? Just let me know that. And, um, let me know if you, um, would like to see a video, maybe of a purse collection, or if you have a video of any of the bags that you have. And I like all bags. I'm not just saying it has to be designer. I see so many cool, funky looking, cheap, in, or cheap, inexpensive bags that I go, that is so cool. I think bags, shoes, jewelry, makeup <laughs> are all my weaknesses. Really handbags. Shoes I like too, but it's really handbags that I really like. I mean, makeup too, that's my number one thing. But what is your number one splurge you like to do? Um, let me know all about that. And um, I think my husband's knocking at the door. Are you knocking at the door, honey? 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 Um, so, okay, did I go over everything? Yes, it has the little little authenticity card right here it has the hologram little code inside of the purse that you match up you know whatever if you anybody wants a, a list of um and I'll, I'll put it down below if i forget to put anything down below just give me a little nudge and say yo cat you forgot to do that and again these videos will probably be up before the description's up because i like to kind of rush things and get things up and then i get that stuff up later but anyways so, so glad to be back and making videos and it's fall time and if you guys had your pumpkin, listen to pumpkin spice coffee out at Starbucks, which I'm not drinking, nothing bad, I'm doing the whole time. Anyways, okay, with that, I will talk to you tomorrow and remember to keep living your most glamorous life. Bye-bye.